is up y'all welcome back to a new vlog i'm finally feeling like myself again i'm back into my routine and today was actually a slow morning for me because you guys i am freaking sore like painful sore because i did legs two days ago and yesterday i mean the day that i did legs i was already feeling sore because i hadn't hit legs in like possibly two to three weeks especially from being sick and all that if you guys saw my last vlogs you would know i was sick but I finally hit legs. I had such a good leg day workout two days ago and I've just been in pain ever since then. Like I'm so sore to like where it hurts to sit down, it hurts to stand up, it hurts to walk. So I was like, okay, today I'm going to take a rest day and it's going to be more like an active rest day because I still plan to go outdoors and go for a walk and whatnot. Yeah, so I took a slow morning today, just been like relaxing, did my skincare, read my book, drank some coffee. I'm still drinking coffee and I'm about to get ready now because I want to get ready for the day because there's a few things that I do want to get done today like I need to grocery shop because I want to meal prep for a few days and then I might I'm not 100% sure but I might go to a coffee shop and get some work done there but I'm not 100% sure just depending like how the day goes and time and all that stuff because it's already going to be noon so when I said I took a slow morning, I've literally been having a slow morning. But yeah, you guys, I'm excited to be vlogging today. It's going to be a good day and the weather is actually oh my god I knew it. We're in a tornado watch. <laughs> I was like, the weather is actually very iffy right now. Um, and I just pulled up my phone. It says tornado watch. So that's fun. Yeah, it's giving tornado weather out there. So who knows? Maybe I will not go for an outdoor walk today, but I am going to stretch. I want to use my massage gun for a little bit and just like really loosen up my muscles because it hurts. <laughs> I'm about to fix my hair now, you guys, because my makeup is done and... This weather is literally little this this weather is literally about to put a damper in my plans. Is that the same? Damper? I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go to the coffee shop because I'm not trying to get stuck in like really bad weather or a freaking tornado if I'm in a coffee shop. I do think I'm still gonna go, not think, I do know I am still gonna go to the grocery store because I really need to buy groceries. Um there's a severe thunderstorm alert there's a tornado watch and there's like a wind advisory so it's crazy out there right now i'm just gonna pull my hair back into a low bun because i have like four day hair already i want to say and it's just not manageable it's annoying it's greasy i put dry shampoo in it already but I'm just gonna sleek it back this has really been like my go-to hairstyle for the longest time because honestly I love having long hair, but I just hate having my hair in my face. It's like one of my pet peeves. It really annoys me when my hair is just in my way. I don't know if you guys notice, like even when I have my hair down, I usually have like my hair behind my ears and like behind my shoulders. I don't have it in front a lot. I don't know why. Just bothers me. But the key to a super like sleek low bun is honestly hair that's dirty because you have like all your natural oils and stuff like that and it's easier to like brush it down versus like if it's freshly washed. It's just not gonna sleek down as good as uh, unless you add like a bunch of product to it. Can't see shit you guys, I need my glasses. My brows are so bad too. I don't know if you guys can see them. But like, <laughs> they are super hairy. I'm for sure gonna wax them sometime this weekend. They usually have like hair lifted on one side. I don't know why I can never flatten hair on both sides like towards the end. So I always just add a bobby pin. I just need to add jewelry. I finally bought some new everyday earrings from Amazon. I don't know if you can see them, but they're like little huggies they look like this um i had to get new ones because my other ones that look pretty much identical they were just starting to get ugly and they weren't working as good anymore like they weren't as tight anymore so they would easily fall off and i had got those at nordstrom i want to say like two years ago so they're not real gold or anything like that but they did last me a while look they look almost identical they're just very loose and 
they're like starting to fade a little bit but they did last me forever anyways i got these because this is like my favorite style of earring to wear they're just like super minimal and very cute i'll link them down below if you guys are interested i think i got them for like 11 bucks i am someone who cannot sleep with jewelry on i don't know what it is but like i just have to take it off it bothers me so every night i when i do like my skincare routine and all that stuff i have a little tray or a little dish right here in the bathroom where i just throw all of my jewelry on and then I'll put it back on the next day. Let me know if you're the same way cause like even my ring, I take off my ring, like everything, I don't know, just can't do it. All right, and I am ready for the day. I need to finish making my grocery list because I started it. I just need to add a few more things and then I'll probably head out right now to go grocery shopping. I'm literally just trying to wait out the weather right now cause it's like, it'll start pouring and then it stops and then it starts pouring and then like the sun comes out and then it goes away and the weather is so weird right now it's totally tornado weather but i thought i'd show you guys my outfit this is something i've probably shown you already but it's like one of my go-to comfy outfits i'm just wearing these black lululemon leggings just a white tank this cardigan that i'm obsessed with from i was gonna say amazon but no from h&m i just have some tall socks i'll probably wear this with my platform converse or my air forces but this is like just a perfect on the go running errands outfit and it's a very me outfit also you guys i've been obsessed with this watch band from amazon it just really elevates my watch and doesn't make it look super sporty because i literally wear my watch band every single day except when i go to the gym i do like to put like my sporty one on just because i don't want to wear this like super flashy gold <laughs> watch band but to elevate an outfit and just make it look a little bit more fancier i think this is super cute so i'll also link this below for you guys if you are interested in it <laughs> finished eating some lunch and honestly i did not give you guys a little grocery haul or the rundown because i was hangry and i was not in the mood <laughs> to get on camera and be like here's what i got so just know i got a bunch of stuff to make my meal preps and all that stuff and then just basic necessities <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh, that hurts you guys this little pause on me literally hurts so bad because of how sore i am sit down buddy he's finding the right spot hurts oh my god that's how bad it is like his little paws on me are so painful right oh my god and when he tries to find a comfortable spot he literally moves around like a hundred times anyways what i'm trying to tell you guys now is that it's literally sunny outside now there's no more tornado warning or tornado watch there's still let's see it's still just windy outside but the sun is literally out and like it's not raining anymore the weather here is literally bipolar and i, I know i've been talking about the weather this whole freaking vlog but it's been the main course of the day so i'm i was like debating if i should still go to a coffee shop which i could still go but it's already 3 p.m and my whole plan was to go earlier in the day and then grocery shop afterwards because i wanted to like go and enjoy a few hours at the gro the grocery store the coffee shop and like not feel rushed and now that it's 3 p.m and like coffee shops close around like 5 or 6 p.m depending on which one i go to just feel like i don't know i prefer to go earlier in the day i guess is what i'm saying so yeah and there's gonna be traffic right now and and then also meal prepping i'm not gonna meal prep tonight i was going to but i decided i'm just gonna meal prep tomorrow during the day also something else you guys i've been posting a lot more frequently on my tiktok and also i've been trying to post on my um youtube shorts so if you guys are not following me on tiktok make sure you guys do it's always linked down below in my description as well as with my instagram but instagram mm, i don't really post much on there to be honest i post on my stories more but like my actual instagram 
Instagram feed. I tried for a while to like post, but I don't care for it too much. So you can follow me, but I'm not too active on there besides on my stories. But yeah, you guys should definitely follow me on TikTok because I've been posting almost daily over there. I try to do like mini vlogs. I do more hauls and stuff like that. Guys, it's a little bit later. I've been sitting here on my laptop trying to figure out some like tax stuff business stuff yeah it's just one of those things that like you don't want to do so i'm trying to figure out how to do it myself but all this stuff it's literally like a whole different language to me so i'm like trying to figure it out and it's due in <laughs> i've been I've, I've had this tax return thing that i've been needing to do i think since december but it was it's not due until the 15th of march so i've literally been putting it off to the last minute to get this done and <laughs> Why am I like this? I don't want to do this. Ugh, I kind of want to take a break from doing this though and sit on my patio and read because the sun is starting to set. So I kind of want like that sunset vibe while I'm reading. It's windy outside and it's not like hot or cold. It's like the perfect weather. I'm about to get myself together to go for an outdoor walk. We're going to go to a park that's close by, take my dog, let him run around and whatnot. So I need to find something to wear today. The weather seems nice just it's not like yesterday where it was like storming or anything like that so should be nice out there i also just waxed my eyebrows i don't know if you can see the redness but if you can that's why the game plan for today we actually are gonna go on a little dinner date later and have some drinks we haven't went out for drinks or gone out for drinks in a really really long time and my boyfriend was like i'm craving like a little date night with drinks and stuff so i'm like sure why not so we're gonna do that later but right now it's almost noon so it's like the perfect time to go out get some sun walk around play with my dog and then come home get ready and head out for the night you know i want to wear joggers i just don't know which ones i think i'm gonna wear these joggers black joggers from poly park and then just a cute little blue tank and some white sneakers now i just need to apply sunscreen and deodorant it real quick i should probably apply some to my body too i also washed my hair this morning and it feels so nice and clean it's still air drying so i'm not gonna like pull my hair back or anything like that um i think i'm just gonna put it in a hair clip just so it's like out of my face and i'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer to my chin area I also haven't told you guys, but we actually just booked a trip to Arizona, which I'm so excited. My boyfriend, my dog, and I are going to be going to Arizona in April to visit family just because we haven't been since Christmas of 2021. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a really good time. We're going to be there for a few days and just visiting family, having a chill trip. It's also going to be Oliver's first time flying, so... Oh, that's a whole other thing we got him his pet carrier already so i'm like trying to train him to like be comfortable in there and you know just learn how to be in there i don't want to put too much because i'm literally going to come home and do my makeup oh i also freaking have a little pimple on my nose like i'm looking like rudolph right now okay i think that's good just gonna brush through the brows and also i've been using this little lip balm or vaseline lip therapy thing for the first time and it's actually pretty good because normally i use the laneige or laneige lip balm or slip what sleep what sleep mask um at night but i haven't repurchased it and i got this other day at the store and it works good like this is like two three bucks and the other one's like 20 20 something dollars not bad so i'm not in a rush right now to get that other one you guys look at oliver i haven't even told him but he knows we're leaving so he's waiting by the door he's just waiting for the words oliver let's go cool. put you in your little car seat are you ready to go to the parks Oh my goodness, are you ready to go to the parks? <sighs> you 
yes, you guys, my dog has his own car seat. The little buckle and everything. Oh, that's a good boy. Let's get rid of all these sweaters back here. different now y'all <laughs> my makeup is done I just finished it I just need to add some lip product but I'm not gonna do that until I change but I have to do my hair now and I'm thinking I want to curl it because I literally have not curled it since I think December one because curling my hair is just a whole job in itself and two it never stays curled but I'm like feeling the curls right now I don't know why and I always straighten my hair which is my go-to hairstyle I think we're gonna curl it and I have plenty of time that's another reason why I'm doing it as well is because I have the time on my hands to do it right now and then figure out what the hell I'm gonna wear because it's always the number one question um what am I gonna wear and my hair is curled it actually looks pretty decent obviously I still need to run my fingers through it but I'm gonna let it sit for as long as possible before I actually do so the curls can stay longer that took me like 30 40 minutes maybe i want to say like 30 ish minutes which wasn't too bad but now let's figure out what the hell i'm gonna wear the lighting is gonna get all weird because i have the lighting on in my bathroom and then now we're out to oh natural light these look like little hinting at a curls <laughs> if you know you know okay so here's what i'm thinking these abercrombie jeans a blazer and then this shirt from banana republic it's like a silky like satin type of material um and then i would tuck this into the jeans wear the blazer over it and then wear it with my loafers i think because it's not like a super fancy dinner but it's like dressy casual if that makes sense so let me try this on and see how it looks complete change of plans <laughs> i went like the opposite color but i like this outfit better the other one was looking a little too like businessy for me and this is actually the same top as the black one just in a different color and I haven't worn it either but it's super pretty just tucked it in I don't know if to tuck it in or wear it out I'm still debating but wearing the Abercrombie jeans still and then these little heels these are Dolce Vita heels I believe and then just some simple gold jewelry and I'm gonna take a like beige blazer just in case it does get colder in the evening because like I said we plan to get drinks afterwards or after dinner so yeah this is a fit very classy casual very me um and I'll probably take extra shoes as well just in case but I just need to put lipstick on and we still have time until we have to leave for dinner so happy about that because usually I'm like running out the door or something <laughs> I'm gonna make myself a liquid IV really quick just because I'm feeling a little dehydrated and especially if I'm gonna drink some alcohol later. I don't want to get super dehydrated or anything like that. I have the flavor strawberry. This one's really good. I like this one and the original flavor. I think it's like lemon lime or something like that. Just use my little hand mixer. I kind of debate whether I want to wear this little black bag from H&M or if I want to do like a whole monochromatic moment and wear this like nude bag. It does have red on it, but like you can't really see it. So I think, what do you think, babe? Sorry. I like that one better. This one? I haven't worn this in a long time. So I guess I'll wear this one. Yeah, I think this one looks better. We picked up some tacos that were literally right outside of the last bar that we were at. Cause we're like, what? Nice, casi que este way. Looks a little casiqueado. <laughs> I don't have high hopes because it's very hard finding good Mexican food out here, but I do sound a little tipsy, huh, babe? A little bit. But the last bar that we went to, it's like a Mexican bar. It's called Adios. And there's literally a food truck right outside of it. Oh, fuck. It's kind of spicy. You want green salsa? 
I like Is it weird just, that I just I, licked? Yeah, you just like shoved your tongue in there. No, I think I want A the normal red person one. would have dipped their finger. I don't know. I didn't want to dip my... Deep? Oh my God. I yeah. didn't want to dip my finger. You don't want to dip your finger. I don't want to dip my finger. <laughs> <clears throat> no, no, off the bat. No, at all. I literally paid double for the tacos because it was ten bucks. We I paid ten dollars for two tacos. No, and then I gave him ten dollar tip. So that's twenty dollars. You gave him ten dollar tip? Why? I don't know. I felt generous. But what I'm getting at is okay. If I give him ten dollars, I would think. Babe, you didn't lock the car. Yeah, I did. I thought I did. It was unlocked. I mean. It's decent, but... It's Casa Fiesta better. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know what would be so bomb right now? That carbon. Nothing like those tacos, man. That's the one thing I miss about Arizona is the fucking food there. Like, the food here is ass. <laughs> you said the food here is ass. It is. Even the like Mexican food, you gotta be specific. Okay. Not all the food. The dinner that we had right now, it wasn't ass, but it wasn't, like, spectacular. Yes, but we've had other places that are like decent. Decent. Yeah. Exactly. Not we just we just have a very. It doesn't matter. It's like we're not even looking for fine dining or any of that shit. It's just hard to find a good. It's because we know what good food tastes a like. A good babe. a good <laughs> fucking dish that has the uh, in Spanish how we say it sazon. Yeah. The sazon, you know. Me quito el antojo, you know? Pero así de que... Mm. The thing out here is that the Mexican food, quote unquote, is too Americanized. Mm -hmm. Like it's... <laughs> mm -hmm, what? Yes and no, but the thing is that the Mexican food out here is... It's not the Mexican food that we're used to. Yeah, it's not the northern Mexico Mexican food. Yes. It's the southern Mexico Mexican food. Our families are northern Mexicans. Son del norte de Mexico, Sonora, Sinaloa. So if you know, you know, pero los, like the food out here is like down south Mexican food. So it's not like the sazon that we're used to. It's 9.30 and we're going home and I'm excited because I'm ready for bed. All right, y'all, I am home now, ready to get into bed. I'm about to take off my makeup, do my nighttime skincare, and probably watch some TV, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I don't really know what these last two days are gonna add up to, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys aren't subscribed, you already know, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like this video give it a like and don't forget to follow me on tiktok if you guys want to see more daily day in my life so just daily little mini vlogs but other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys